Yo, what's up everybody, this is Beetle5, and before I hand this video off over to Santa, I just wanted to tell you guys, first off, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas out there, because I had a great one, because let me show you a little something I got me for Christmas. Boom, baby, an Oculus Rift. This is easily one of the biggest things that I wanted to get for Christmas. Now, unfortunately, at the moment in time, my PC is not capable of running this yet. It's, uh... It ain't too good these days, so I got to get me an upgrade. New graphics card, processors, motherboard, all that stuff. If you're a computer nerd, you know how all this shit goes, but I'm gonna need a new one, which also means that certain videos, like with the higher end games right now, I'm gonna have to cut back on, which is why Sakura Santa is gonna continue on with Santa. I'll let him finish that off. And uh, get ready, because Doki Doki Literature Club will be on the way shortly after that. As soon as I get me a fresh new set of computer parts it's gonna be VR games coming on cuz I managed to boot this thing up already and oh it's cool it's really cool alright so I'm gonna let Santa keep on going hope you all had a Merry Christmas and I'll see you guys another time bye bye all right, Santa, get your dumb ass out of here. Ho, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Sakura Santa. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas because I know you guys like all the gifts I gave you, especially that Beetle 5 fellow. You know, he, he wanted an Oculus. It's going to be fun when he starts playing stuff with that thing because hey, it's cool. You want to play VR? It's cool shit. So, okay, so we went back to Itsume here at our job, and I, I think we saw her naked last time. I don't know. It's been a while, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. If I didn't have your help, I would have been overwhelmed. I find that hard to believe it, Sumi. You handled it so well. Practice, I guess. Uh, you had enough bad customers to not worry of them? Uh, well, excuse me, Santa had a little eggnog this morning. At, at night. What time of day is it? More or less. I've been working here for years, after all. I've been basically selling my body to all these strangers. It's only natural that I got used to doing it. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, work's done. I should go get changed. Are you planning on joining me again, Santa? Oh, please, if I could. <laughs> nah, it's alright, I'm cool. Come on, don't be shy. Really, it's fine. It, that was a total accident, you know it. You're, you're not gonna let me live that down now. Although she has... Oh, crap. Although she has a great figure, it makes me uncomfortable to see her like that. I don't know why. Suit yourself. As she wanders into the back room, I finally sit down for a moment. My arms are screaming, my back aches, and I still have all these dishes to deal with. Oh man, Santa's body's getting old, kids. If I work here for a while, I'll probably start to hate the smell of detergent. Right now, though, I'm thinking about it, Zumi. I don't know where I stand with her. With the way she acts around me, how can I possibly inter interpret it as anything except be her being interested? No fully grown woman just flaunts her nudity in front of her friends like that. <laughs> That's probably the most real thing he's ever said so far. So maybe her feelings for middle school are still alight. Does she know that I, I knew how she felt? At the time, I knew we were going to different schools, so I didn't want to start anything and then have it be broken apart. I know that she used to read a lot of manga. She probably thinks of me as an oblivious harem protagonist. <laughs> Man, that's that's definitely an anime we should get started. It's called Santa's Harem. Let's just, let's just kickstart that. I never understand how that trope is supposed to work. I've only been out on a few dates and even I know when a woman's hitting on me. But that's besides the point. She's definitely flirting with me, so I guess she still sees me that way. Of course I can't just act on an assumption. The best thing to do is probably let things progress naturally. Maybe I'll ask her out on a date and see how they go from there. She seems really busy though. I wonder if I'll get to spend time with her at all. If she has to deal with these crowds every day, I can't help but wonder how much this cafe relies on her. She walked out in her casual clothes. You know, let's just be real for a second. There's nothing hotter than a girl in a sweater, cute little sweater, and a little, well, I mean, I wish she had a knit hat. That'd be adorable. But the scarf and the gloves, she's just adorable. I could do without the skirt, though. She's probably really fucking cold down there. Hey, Santa. Would you mind if I came over today? C come over? Yes, I want to see your apartment. Oh, uh, well, sure. It's nothing special, but you're welcome to it. I'd like that. I'm just curious what a house looks like with the, with the Santa in charge. A Santa? You say Santa can handle an apartment himself? What an odd thing to be curious about. Well, the person's surroundings reflect their personality, so I just wonder what that looks like. Well, that's really deep. Okay then. I find it a bit odd, but sure, she's my childhood friend after all. Oh my God, we have very different 
ideas of what childhood friends mean, really, in this world. It to me makes small remarks about everything she sees as she follows me home. And mostly she's looking at me. You should have grown into a high caliber pervert. What the fuck? You come into my home and you call me a high caliber pervert? Fuck you! How so? Don't you remember getting nosebleeds whenever our homeroom teacher bent forward? Oh my god, is that what happened to me? God, it was a pathetic soul. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, she was really something. See, that's what I mean. No trace of shame or awkwardness to be seen. You've grown truly comfortable with a woman's body. Maybe, but something else sure is comfortable with showing themselves off. If I have it, no sense in hiding it. Does she just basically say if you got it, flaunt it? I might have her own shot with her. Besides, you seem to like it, Santa. As would anybody. <laughs> I won't deny that, but it's different from when we were younger. How so? Oh my god, you're dense! You already know what I look like underneath these clothes. That's not the point. I swear, she has no sense of modesty. But we're different now. You aren't that different, Santa. You're still the perfect you've always been. You're just going to accept it. Fuck you! <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you're right. I won't deny my perversion. Nor should you. Perversion is a natural stage in a life cycle of a man. And a woman's! Excuse me, there are plenty of pervy girls. Not many, but they're there. You sound like a nature documentary. Would you like- would you prefer talking about how you saw me naked today instead? I didn't exactly do that on purpose. The cafe owner just told me to go get changed. I didn't think you'd be in there. Yes, but that's something that happens only in romantic comedies. What the fuck do you think you're in? Hello? You're just a bunch of ones and zeros meant to give young boys erections. You're nothing. Not teasing you would be missing out on a golden opportunity. <laughs> right. Anyway, you said that I haven't changed at all, right? I like to think that isn't true. After all, years have passed, surely I've changed something. No, it's exactly as you've said. You haven't changed at all. Is there anything different about me? No, there really isn't. You still have that same baby dick from when you were in middle school. <laughs> oh, God. I feel dejected when she says that. But that's not a bad thing, Santa. It's actually comforting. How so? Yes. That didn't answer my question. <laughs> I never grew that attached to this town. There's no lifetime of memories here. Nothing memorable happened in high school. It was like I drifted from day after day without much happening. I turned down dates, I did my studies, I went on and did my job. That's how I've been for the last few years of my life. But now that I have someone that I share my memories with, perhaps I can make new ones that are just as fun. After all these years, she still holds the time we spent together close to her heart. Can we make more memories together, Santa? I want to have at least one good thing to remember about this town. Oh, we can make some memories right now in my bedroom, sweetie. Let's just do it. So, will you do that with me? Of course it's Zoom, I promise. Even though we only just got back together, I'm really enjoying our time together. I feel the same way, Santa. Speaking of... What is it? N no, never mind. It's nothing. I, I was thinking about sucking you off, but I realized how ridiculous that sounded, because, you know, this is real life. <laughs> right. I feel like I know what she was going to say. Alright, I have an early shift tomorrow. I need to go home and get some sleep. I'll just cock block you again tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I'll visit you again sometime, co-worker or customer. I would like that, Santa. The Christmas crowds are getting bigger. Goodbye for now. As she leaves the room, I find myself staring at the floor. You wanted to ask me how I felt about you, didn't you? What kept you from it? Was it uncertainty? The mood? Are you not ready yet? I guess all I can do is wait and find out. Wow, seriously, what a cock block. Well, it was a lot of fun to spend time with Itsumi yesterday, despite the terrifying Christmas crowds. Not to mention that I got an exciting look of that great body of hers. I know that the first thing most guys look at are the boobs and the butt, but sometimes it's nice to appreciate the other parts. Like her nose, and, you know, her... her elbows. Yeah. I mean, a nice flat stomach is also a plus, and those thighs of hers, damn, they're great. Anyone would also admit that she's got some great hips as well. Obviously, this isn't the first thing I should think about after reuniting with a friend I haven't seen in years. But as a man, I just can't not think about it. Especially considering how upfront she was about her nudity. She said it was fine to look, too. Honestly, she couldn't be more blatant about hitting on me if she wanted to be. She's not the only one who I've been thinking about lately. Santina has a great figure, too. I don't know why she wears that outfit like that, though. She's as pure as the driven snow, that girl. What if someone else told her to wear that for some reason? I don't know for sure. Then there's that fox. She has some plump thighs, too. And there's no reservation reservations about showing them off, too, given the panty incident. Oh, yeah, I remember that bullshit. Yes, I am definitely someone who has been surrounded by an abundance of great assets as of late. 
All I can say is about them is that I am very lucky. Anyway, it's one thing to think about a nice figure like Katsumi's, but I could go out and look at one today, right? There's a lot of sights to see. Okay, so, uh... <coughs> I, who am I gonna visit today? Let's go back to Santino, see how uh, she handled Christmas. Maybe I'll see you when Santino shows up again. She did say she'd be dropping by someday, so I don't know when that will be. I don't think Santina Claus owns a phone. Still, what if I wait the entire day and she doesn't turn up? That would be depressing. Just then, a sharp knock comes from the door. Oh god, her voice again. Hello, Santa. I used the door just like you asked. Didn't get lost along the way, did you? Not at all. Uh, see, you should have more faith in yourself. It's not that hard. You're right. So I was wondering, are you free today? Yes, I was wondering when you were going to show. So you were thinking of me. I'm so happy. There's something I want to do, Santa. What's that? I want to see what it's like to go Christmas shopping. It's like getting crushed by the crowds, mostly. <laughs> well, I'll take you if you want, sure. I like that, Santa. I've heard it's very exciting. Everyone wanders around looking for presents. Isn't it just the sweetest time of year? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. It's pretty busy, though. You can easily get lost in the crowd. I'm sure that I won't. You said I should have some faith in myself, right? Uh, right. If you want to go shopping, then we should go as early as possible. It's even more crowded later in the day. I see. Still, it'd be fun, I'm sure. After all, I'll be with you the entire time. Oh, I can't handle the sweetness. <sighs> Man, she's so sweet. An entire gingerbread house frosting and all still wouldn't have as much sweetness as Santino. All right, shall I show you the way then? Yes, please. I reach for her hand. S Santa, why are we holding hands? I know you said you won't get lost, but I want to make sure. Hold on to my hand and there's no chance, right? I see. If you don't like it, we don't have to. No, it's fine. I'm more than happy to hold your hand, Santa. I'll, I'll take my top off if, if it's for you, Santa. Oh, God. Cheesy anime tropes, I swear to God. Okay, Santina, I'm glad. Holding hands with a cute girl is certainly something I can enjoy regardless of why. A anyway, shall we go? I can feel her grip tighten. Sure. So hand in hand, we go out on the town. The entire time Santina looks around with curiosity and all the sparkling decorations appears at the seemingly every storefront. So people buy their own decorations instead of making them? Yeah, usually. Not everyone can make things like you can. I guess that's why the Claus family is here. So we can make things to bring joy to others. That's a nice thought. That reminds me. Now, by the way, we need to think of a way for you to keep your watch safe. Can you shrink it? Do you have somewhere to put it? Not really. On uh, second thought, that's a silly question. What she wears barely counts as clothes in the first place. I can see. Well, I can see she certainly doesn't have any pockets or bags. Wait, it has a hook on it. So you thought of something? Maybe. Have I... Can I do that to her? Can I violently grope her breasts in public? Any idea is a good idea. Imagine if I lost my water again and you weren't there. Christmas would be ruined. Christmas has passed. That's the thing I'm most scared of. That I'll screw up and Christmas won't happen. Yeah, I can see your your tall expression of fear with this teeth grind expression. Hey, relax. Nothing like that is going to happen. Christmas is come and gone. I took care of it. No thanks to you. If it does, then just come see me and we'll sort it out, okay? I appreciate that, Santa. Her clumsiness seems to really bother her. I don't know what I would do to help. Still, I'd do whatever I could. If you dwell on it going wrong all the time, it probably will. Happy thoughts, right? Yeah, happy thoughts. I'm Santa, Tina, after all. <laughs> Good girls and boys are relying on me to deliver the Christmas joy, so I'll do my best for all of them. That's the spirit. Anyway, where would you like to go, Santa? I don't know. There's lots of shops. Can, can we avoid the one we showed up in last time? You mean the lingerie store that you teleported us into? You didn't have to say it. I was nervous. That's fine. We just won't go there. Thank you. Her attention slowly sweeps her downtown. They know how to get into the Christmas spirit here. Is it like this every year, Santa? Uh, I don't know. This is the first year I spent here. I've been at the North Pole forever. Do you like this town, Santa? Maybe. I would like it more if I had friends, I think. Hey, no problem. I'm here with you after all. You won't be alone for Christmas, I promise. She squeezes my hair tightly. Thank you, Santina. I feel really weird calling her that. But, you well, my name is fucking Santa, so we're not calling her Santa, okay? The first thing that springs to mind for that name is a fat man with a white beard. She isn't anywhere near that. Fuck you, I'm not fat. Well, okay, fine, I'm very fat. So why don't you tell me more about your family, Santina? 
about how I'm your real, I'm, you're my daughter. What would you like to know? How about your dad? Is he ever around, or did he leave the North Pole to go flirt with cute girls? He's nice and warm and jolly. He's a big, big though, and he has a white beard. Ah, oh, shit! That's a very accurate description. So he looks like the Santa showing almost everywhere. Yep, people love him, don't you think? It's a little sad that you don't get credit, though. Credit for one of us is credit for all of us. Because all of us are Santa Claus after all. I see, I see. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a team effort, well, family effort. So how do you pick what Santa goes where? We just decide where we want to go. I like this place, so it's where I decided to stay. Do you ever go back home to the North Pole? Of course, it's not Christmas without our family dinner, you know. I've never seen you at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Uh, naturally, Santa would celebrate Christmas herself. Whoops, pulled that name wrong. Christmas is about family, warmth, and joy. The North Pole is my home. It will always be the warmest place in the world for me. <laughs> Irony. She closes her eyes and lets go of a happy sigh. Maybe you could come for our Christmas dinner, Santa. Yeah, well, then I would have to deal with the missus. Christmas dinner, huh? Uh, was I thinking out loud? Yep, you were. Just, just forget that. She's glowing like Rudolph's shiny red nose. I'm not going to forget this. Having Christmas dinner with the Claus family? Oh, I'd get, I'd get to meet the big guy himself. Although, being with this cute girl while doing that, uh, that would be nice. She's so innocent and pure, as would be expected of a member of the Claus family. I wonder what would it be like if we were married? Oh, let's not, let's not go incest on here, okay? Please. By the way, what was that about me not losing my candy cane? Where do you think I could keep it? I suppose I should tell her. My inner demons have won today. No point in being around the bush. What if you put it between your breasts? Man, I have some big Christmas balls. My, my, my breasts! My, my, oh, pie! Yes, you always feel it, so you wouldn't lose track. Also, it greatly simulates a dick in between your boobs. I've heard of a lot of girls hiding stuff there. Is that so? I guess it's worth a try. If I see this, I swear to- Oh my god! <laughs> Then she squeezes the candy queen in candy cane in between her two massive breasts. Do you think I could keep track of it like this? If I hold these together, it will never escape. Oh my god. I don't think that would work. Not to mention that this looks more lewd than I imagined. How else could you have imagined it? I mean, come on! Even I knew exactly how this was gonna go down. So you don't think I should try? Uh maybe. But can my dick be your magic wand instead? You know, can we just can we just do a, a magical transfer? Then it'll always be in your hand at the, or, or in between your tits at the same time. Just keep doing it and we'll see if it works. Okay. She stands there rubbing her breasts against the cane. You're giving me a funny look, Santa. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Just keep being the sweet, innocent child you really are. Something doesn't feel right. No, you're crazy. It's fine. I mean... No, it's fine. She peers down the length of the wand. I know where it is, but this doesn't feel right, Santa. You don't have to push them together. Okay. She lets go. Release her breasts spill into their natural cleavage. They press together nicely, securing the candy cane perfectly between them. It's too big. Don't you think, Santa? It won't fit in there. Oh my god. The candy cane almost seems like it's melting. As is my penis. As it rubs against her skin, I can see a shimmer of stickiness along its surface. It starts to coat her chest, giving it a slick sheen. This feels so wrong, Santa. Yeah, I don't know what made me think this was a smart idea. But it was your idea, so I don't mind. Oh my god. Even if it feels so... Every step causes her chest to bounce suddenly around the cane, sur securely squeezing and nudging up and down. Why doesn't this feel right? Are you meant to put things between them, Santa? Not usually. I mean, I don't know what you do in your free time, but... I don't like it. She cops her breasts and lifts slightly. The cane starts to slide between them. Now I'm all sticky here. Even when I know where it will be, this feels so, so very wrong. Then why don't you stop it? Because it was a suggestion from Santa and I want to try. Well, you know, I'm not... You're not my fucking slave. Just not, stop doing it. Even if it feels wrong, I'm happy to do what you ask. I'm so glad women are not really like this. 
Because this is just abysmal. Look, you don't have to do it, okay? I'm sorry to feel guilty. Yeah, I, I can agree. It seems like she is instinctively averse to lewd things. Though she keeps stumbling into them by accident. <laughs> Unlike Itsumi, who just fucking, you know, does it at every waking hour of the day. I had a lot of fun today, seeing Santa squeeze a candy cane between the titties. Seems like she enjoyed herself. Well, Santa, thank you for today. No, don't worry about it. It was fun. I want to give you something. She gingerly takes my hand and presses something into my palm. I hold it up. A snow globe? It's special. When I peer deeper into its swirly snow, is this your workshop? Yes. Shake the globe three times and think about Christmas. That way you'll be able to visit me whenever you want. But it's your workshop. Are you sure you're okay with me just dropping by whenever? It's fine if it's you. You're special. Anyway, c can I come home with you? Absolutely. She trails behind me, shy this time and carefully avoiding getting too close. Well, I mean, you know, it can't be much worse. She stuck her tits in her candy cane. We're home. Well, I guess you're home. This isn't really my home. Who are you announcing this to? I don't live with my parents. It may not be your home, but you're welcome here whenever you like, Santa. I mean, you know, you just gave me the keys to your workshop. Even the smallest of kindness makes her so happy. She makes it easy to be upbeat around her. Santa, today was a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed spending time with you too, Santina. Same. It's nice to see how everyone else celebrates Christmas. I could go on about the cynical corporate natures of Christmas today. But, oh crap, that was not the right voice. But this girl will tell you about that. She fully embodies the spirit of the season. To harm that would be a crime. Have you ever received a present, Santina? We all give presents to each other at Christmas dinner, but I haven't ever gotten a present from someone outside of my family. What about the milk and cookies that people leave for you? We take those back to Dad. Of course you do. How else do I get this jumbo belly of mine? This whole time I thought people thought that Santina was capable of eating an unlimited amount of cookies. I think that everyone is right on that. That big belly has to come from somewhere, I guess. I see. Well, maybe you might get a present this... I don't even get to finish and already stars light up in Santa's eyes. Really? 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 Uh, yeah, it's Christmas, right? An actual Christmas present from Santa. I'll treasure for the rest of my life. She says that because she hasn't received presents except from family. But I'm still amazed with her reaction. I guess this is Santina after all. Saint Nicholas him- No, herself. Well, as long as you've been a good girl this year. I've been a good girl this year, I promise. Well, too bad, because I was only going to give you a gift if you were a bad girl this year. <laughs> Alright, we're going to stop this now. Thank you guys so much for watching Santa Play Soccer on Santa. Be sure to look up for more content coming your way, and I will see you guys next time. Ho ho, bye bye. Oh,